obviously so on. So it's more like a what I eat when I drag my lazy ass out of bed at 2 p.m. So you guys know how I buy things all the time, like depending on how I've decided to eat and I end up wasting a lot of food sometimes because it goes bad. Also want to apologize to my viewers for just like being completely like mental. Talking skill. Cool. Is that your goal? Yeah, I've lost weight. Oh, cool. Down to 197. Hmm. I was at 199 last time I weighed myself. Happy Canada Day guys. I have some bad news. My blood sugar levels are very high and I will be put on a strict diabetic eating plan. My doctor is referring me to a diabetes clinic. Frowny face. Despite how bad I eat and how I never exercise, I'm still shocked by this news. I also put another deposit on my trip, which I have lost sight of. I get defensive sharing my struggles because they make me vulnerable and so emotional. The struggle I go through every minute of the day is dismissed by someone calling me a failure and I let that get to me and I now see how ridiculous it is for me to let the opinions of others bother me. In the end, they will make me stronger and I will no longer care what others think of me as those who belittle others are worse off for doing that, period. That being said, I will have to change the content again of my channel to be a more health-based one because my diet will be very strict in order to try to reverse this mess I've gotten myself into. Hey guys, I'm back. So, I checked my last video. It's actually been a while for me that I've been gone when I was uploading so consistently, almost daily, but I have just been doing a lot of internalizing, a lot of thinking, and um, I guess not doing so great overall. And so what I'm about to show you though is this three day juice cleanse. I impulsively purchased um, hi Sam <laughs> and I purchased it a little while ago you have to purchase it in advance and then they delivered it yesterday Monday so I was actually gonna stay away for a while and do this in secret and because it is mentally taxing but I'm feeling pretty good better than I thought I would so cameras a bit crooked sorry about that so I just thought yeah, why not share with them uh, what I'm going through. So a lot of you are probably wondering, just by the pattern on my channel, what my obsession is with... <clears throat> with juice cleanses. And it's a few things. One, it's part of a cycle. Um, I guess almost like a a binge weird way of like binging and purging um i go through bouts of where i'm just eating complete crap and binge eating and all that sam please no beason and then the juice cleanse i feel like i need to cleanse after that and um so yeah now there are health benefits of juice cleansing a lot of people um, don't agree with it. A lot of people think it's a gimmick. Uh, why detox your body when your liver and kidneys and lymphatic system do that? Um, there's going to be supporting evidence for whatever you believe on the internet. Um, countering that, your liver and kidneys can get overloaded with toxins. We live in a very toxic environment with emissions and even just your hairspray every day is not good for you. Um, so they think that once in a while doing a little cleanse, giving your bodies a break. See, for me, with all the binging I do, I want to give myself, my digestive system a break. And that was my main goal here. It wasn't the weight loss, though I am keeping track of the weight loss, regardless. Um, I will explain further in my video how it's going. Just wanted to do this quick intro. So zero. Body weight is 399.4 pounds. Body weight is 399.4 pounds. So far, yeah, I'm feeling like really hungry already. My body's like, give me the food 
high fat, high sugar food that you normally give me every day. All right, so I've got all of my juices. You get five juice, 500 mil, and one homemade nut milk per day. So I have my three days. I have two in the freezer because these are kind of, they're not as cold as I'd like. <laughs> and I guess I was supposed to start tomorrow, Tuesday. Today's Monday. I am, I haven't eaten anything all day, just water. I was hoping to start today, but I didn't factor in the late delivery. So I've got, I'm going to start in on these tonight because I go to bed pretty much in the morning and sleep like throughout the day and then I'm up all night. So it's going to be kind of reverse for this, but yeah, so I need to fill my water thing. All right, guys. Recorded. All right, guys. So I'm gonna step on the scale. This is a talking scale. I hope you can hear it. Um, yeah, it goes up to 550 pounds. So here we go. <laughs> I think it just turns on. Body weight is 300. 94.4 pounds. Body weight is 394.4 pounds. Um, I know I'll gain it back once I start eating, or at least most of it probably, because it's not, you know, obviously if you're not eating, you're going to lose weight. But um, overall, I feel like I have a lot more energy to the point where I want to go for a walk. I... Felt very sick. I have lipstick on my teeth. I felt pretty sick last night. Um, had to run to the washroom a lot. So one of the side effects is running to the washroom for number one and number two, because you're having a lot of liquid. And um, I, what else happened? I had a bad headache for most of the night. I was very hungry and I was obsessing about food. Like I couldn't stop thinking about food. Um, oh boy. Right now, not so bad. I'm gonna have one of my juices and see how it goes. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna take you on a walk with me and I haven't decided if I'm gonna put music while I'm walking. More than likely, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe a mix of both because I do huff and puff and blow your house down <laughs> while I'm walking. So it's a bit embarrassing, but I just keep telling myself whatever, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm at least trying to change it. So I'm gonna pack with me my backpack, which is good for hiking like that because you, you know, you don't have to carry a purse. Some, I need some right now. Thermal spring water. Goes in. I'm gonna fill this with cold water, my swell bottle. It's small enough. My coldie is mostly for here, which I do love for at home, but, <laughs> and a cloth. These are the erase your face cloths. That's all I had right now, clean. So, to wipe up any sweat. <sighs> Calm my breathing down a bit. Not a good idea. I'm here in one of my favorite spots to stop to go to the washroom, <laughs> go for a walk. Hey, I bring my toilet paper because honestly, drinking these juices, man, you gotta go. Like, that's the thing. Um, so I'm, it's so humid. I can't, like, you, there's no, I feel like there's no air. So I'm going to put my... AC on actually I wanted to have the windows down in this part so I can take in the fresh air and that but honestly it's just so like humid and today of all days there's a heat warning but I tried walking up up there a little bit and I'm just too lightheaded and have a headache uh, my breathing is not good, so I think before I start um, in with the walking, I, I, where there's no benches, 
I'm just gonna have to um, take it slow maybe lose a bit of weight first do sitting exercises for now I just need to do what I'm uh, I mean I know exercise is supposed to be a bit uncomfortable but gasping for air is probably not normal so um, it just scares me and plus my back like I need to take it step by step when it comes to exercise so um, but definitely I'm gonna wait till I'm done this friggin juice thing so rediabetes and fruit juices I actually totally didn't consider this as this whole thing was an impulse hard lesson learned I am lightheaded and dizzy and nauseous I'm going to cease the juice cleanse on day two for my health and safety and eat according to how my doctor advises I don't have that freedom anymore I need to eat sensibly. No more taking my health into my own hands. I always think I know what's best for myself, even when I don't. See you in my next video. Hey guys, so um, this is an intro to this video, which I feel necessary after having done the video throughout my whole day. Uh, just kind of give you what 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 my overall thoughts about it, I guess. Um, I'm doing that now because some of you won't even make it to the end of the video but uh, I don't really blame you. So I just wanna thank you for watching. I know these videos might be a bit all over the place and the furthest thing from any kind of professional video, but um, I really need, I am really, really am making, uh, improving my health, getting healthy, the main priority in my life. And it's actually very consuming because I'm also learning how to organize myself with everything. It's just really hard for me as a person who's very sedentary, very unorganized, and just eats whatever the heck I feel like or whatever my binge urges tell me to. So changing is a very arduous process and I think I used the right word there. I knew these glasses made me smarter, but in all seriousness, um, I'm trying to find something that really will work for me as a lifestyle change and it's going to be a lot of trial and error guys and I appreciate your input, I really do. Some of you have some really good ideas and I really appreciate it and of course I can't listen to everybody but <laughs> I can at least appreciate your opinion. Overall I know that I need to work with my doctor and come up with a plan that will help me reverse my high blood sugar levels and will help me lose some weight and something that is sustainable and non-triggering <laughs> so I have a lot to work with here um, what you see me eat today I started out thinking that that was good I do all these groceries these I spend tons of money on food every time I change the way I'm gonna eat and I have this food now. I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to try to eat it in moderate quantities, measuring. I have my scale. I have my, my fitness pal premium membership. So I'm all set. And I didn't really do that in this video, uh, measure as much. But uh, going forward, um, the mistakes of today hopefully will not be the mistakes of tomorrow. All right, so the juice fast, I did post on my video last night. Last night, I started getting very dizzy, like it was affecting my vision. And I started feeling very nauseous, like I was gonna throw up. Um, very, 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 just unwell, feeling I haven't really felt before. And forgive my breathlessness, it could have been detox symptoms, but it could also be the start of like, uh, you know, I don't want to mess with um, the sugars and diabetes and everything like that. So I decided it's probably better not to chance it. I didn't have any Lancets left uh, strips, so I left a bunch at the old place. I think I did, but I didn't want to mess around. So I just stopped. I ate some bacon and some pickles. I'm doing the best I can here, but I'm gonna show you what I bought and then I'm gonna make something to eat because I'm very hungry, I have not eaten yet today. So, all right, I'm just gonna go bag by bag. <laughs> it's gonna be chaotic, but I got a huge bag of Brussels sprouts frozen. I love, love, love Brussels sprouts, like so much, all right? Got some broccoli florets. I have um, 
five cans of flaked lake tuna in water. I like the flake lake more than the chunk. And I've heard the flake has less mercury, but I'm not too sure about that. One cucumber. Now they had a few things. They didn't have a few things. Like they didn't have the lettuce I wanted and stuff. So there's a few vegetables missing, which I will have to, I'll just run into farm boy and top it up um, another time because it's not going to be too much stuff that I need. I got some mushrooms. I love sauteing up mushrooms. Ooh, and I, I got I got two kinds of mushrooms. I didn't even realize that. So I got some um, organic strawberries were on sale. So for fruit, I'm going to be eating mostly berries. Oh yeah, I got a um, free from smoked ham. So it has, um, it's more natural, has less stuff inside. Um, this has zero carbs, zero sugar, but it does say sugar in the ingredients. I didn't know they put sugar in ham, but lesson learned. But it says zero sugar. So I have some baby bell cheeses. This is good to just grab if you're like hungry for something. Silk almond milk, unsweetened. And I have my ranch. Home style ranch has zero, has one gram carb. Um, not the cleanest ingredients, no, but I really like that on a salad, so once in a while. Once in a while, I like oil and vinegar, but. All right, for meats, I have some chicken, some ground turkey. Ugh, some eggs, I hope they didn't break. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay, so just some free range brown eggs. They did get some Green Giant iceberg lettuce, which I could probably eat like most of this in one go, honestly. Oh, wow. Okay, so I know what I'm having today. Lots of mushrooms. <laughs> because I'm gonna have like a whole package today. Um, turkey breast, PC blue menu, turkey bacon, baby spinach. I'm gonna make a huge tuna salad. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, sweet baby lettuce. I'm running out of room. And I got a shredded cheese blend, which I know shredding your own is, is better. But. I got some all bran, very high in fiber. I'm gonna have this with berries and almond milk in the morning. I'm gonna give this away too, it has sugar. I thought it had no sugar. I couldn't see the ingredient list on that one product for some reason. I'm gonna give it to my grandmother, she eats it. So I'm trying to like eliminate all added sugars. Um, so so this is expensive mayonnaise, It is, but it has no crap in it. You know, it has like, um, a lot of people on keto eat this. There's no like soybean oil or cornstarch or stuff like that. Like my miracle whip, I checked the ingredients. Oh my God. It has like all kinds of crap. It has uh, cornstarch, everything. So I got two cans of these olives. I love adding them in salads so much. Yes, I cannot wait. Oh, my favorite. Dill chips. I love these. Okay, I think that's about it. So, um, oh no, there's another package. <laughs> I thought I ordered. Okay, this is just riced cauliflower. And, oh yeah, I love these. These are just cut green beans. I have a lot of frozen vegetables now. I love cut green beans, a little bit of butter and some seasoning, but um, I want a grass-fed butter. Apparently they didn't have any, so I'll have to get that. There's just a couple of things. Overall, it was pretty good. I really appreciate that service right now when it's like so hot and just walking around with my breathing um, in a crowded store. It's just not ideal right now. Yeah, I just want to clarify with the whole diabetes thing. Um, I probably should... Impulsive is my middle name. Shouldn't have posted that impulsively, but I checked my blood sugar. I was freaking out and I was like, you know what? It stops here. No more unhealthy mukbangs. I need to do something about it. And I need to uh, get my blood sugars under control. So what I did was I emailed my doctor right away. Basically, I checked, test. I've been testing my blood sugars. I need to go get more strips, but it's been like 10. And that's like fasting. So something's up and uh, I was pre-diabetic a while ago and since then I've continued to abuse my body. So I'm not surprised. I mean, I just, I'm gonna pretend like I do have diabetes and eat accordingly because I don't want it to get there if it's not. But I am waiting to, I'm going tomorrow morning. I need to get my blood test done for my INR and for the A1C that my doctor ordered. And then we're gonna discuss if I do have diabetes if I do fall in the diabetic range, um, then I will be admitted to a diabetic clinic, uh, at, you know, as an outpatient, and I will see a nutritionist and get some help there to manage it. So, but in the meantime, like I said, I'm going to act like I do because I do have um, high blood sugar levels, and I'm going to eat according to how my doctor's been telling me to eat. So, I'm back here a couple hours later. So I'm just trying to assess how I feel after eating that salad. And uh, I'd say I feel gross. I don't have any energy. I'm running to the washroom nonstop. 
So what I think it is, just too much salt, like the olives, pickles, uh, ranch, tuna. Does tuna have salt? Of course it has salt. It's canned, it's preserved in a can, right? So, I had a whole can, that's why. So I wasn't um, really measuring the tuna and other things like that. Uh, three servings of the ranch is a lot. And I have ranch runs and I'm miserable, so. Um, I feel like they're, they're, I have changed in the way that it's just not desirable, really, to eat loads of fast food and food that's just really not good for me because it's just at this point, it's, I know that I'll feel horrible and who knows when that one meal could be my last because, okay. And I know people prefer probably a more upbeat me, which a lot of days I will be, but sometimes I just don't. Sometimes, I mean, that's my life, really. I don't, I have a lot of days where I'm not really like super hyper and, you know, it's just real life. So, all right. So I am going to try right now a, um, microwave cake substitute. Oh, it's crumbly. Ah, okay, if this is gross, I'm giving that protein powder to my sister. Okay. Starbucks right now. I want chocolate so bad right now. And I know they don't have sugar free chocolate sauce! <laughs> Sorry. Hi guys! I'm like legit crying behind my sunglasses right now. <sighs> okay. Maybe I'll get a grande instead of a venti like I normally get. So grande is smaller. If I get the espresso. It's chocolate sauce. Oh. Anyways. Um, hi. I want to have a good day today. I'm just in one of those friggin' moods. I can't get out of it. I don't know what the heck, like, my whole life I just feel like I've had this, like, constant, to quote Smashing Pumpkins, melancholy and infinite sadness. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe just a mixture of everything wrong. You know what I think it is? Unfulfillment. You know? But it can be changed. Okay, I need chocolate in my life. I just, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get a grande, <laughs> okay? Baby steps. Um, but I do need to talk to you guys. Had a binge last night. So, um, trying not to totally beat myself up over it, but um, I had an entire package of turkey lunch meat, and I had one pita, and I put turkey meat on it, and cheese, and ranch, and then I had some cucumbers and ranch, I had one of pizza's Kit Kat bars. <laughs> Okay. I was like, did you go one of my Kit Kats? No. He doesn't really say anything, but 
because I don't really eat them often. Like I was just so like in that mode where I just want to eat anything and everything. And uh, what else did I have? Actually, I think that was it. Like I just can't have lunch meats in the house. Like I don't know. I can't have any food in the house. What the hell? Anyways, I'm still struggling with that. I'm going to try my best today not to do that. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to be honest about it. And when I go through things like that, I'm going to tell you, you know, like that's the reality of having a binge eating disorder. It, you know, it's, it happens. Um, so... And I know people say I should get inpatient help. There's no in, there's no inpatient help here, okay? I'm just telling you. I'm not trying to be defensive when I say that. Because I get that, that comment a lot. But there's in my town, there's no... I'm part of an outpatient program. And I've, I've asked to be referred to the inpatient. And the form, my family doctor tried to. The form is... It's for people who are severely, like, near death... Um, anorexic, bulimic, they even ha they have nowhere on the forum about being overweight, you know, it's like oh, you're overweight, well just diet and exercise kind of thing, or go to therapy which, yeah, I agree, that's probably a good idea, but um, I hate therapy, like I hate opening up, I hate talking to strangers about it, and uh, that's something I'm dealing with too just letting you know, I see that a lot go to inpatient people, like I, I'm addressing that because people make it sound like I'm, I don't think all the time about how I can help myself, you know, and sometimes I don't, sometimes I, yeah, like I said with the therapy, I don't want the help, like I don't want it right now, you know so um, that's just where I'm at but uh, today I'm not going to binge okay, and here we go here we go, let's see what I'm going to get Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Can I get started for you? Hi. Um, can I have a grande? What What's your strongest coffee? I have a Jack Rose. Um. Okay. Or can I have a, a grande iced americano with an extra shot of espresso? With an extra shot? Yeah, an extra ice. Okay. And do you have like some kind of chocolate flavoring syrup? A like chocolate. Oh yeah, yeah. We have caramel sauce. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, can I have like, <laughs> I want to make it like, yeah, like mocha, like chocolatey. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, <laughs> and that's everything. <laughs> All right, come on up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you know, for food addiction, it's not covered by the government, and they're very expensive. They're like $10,000. I mean, I've looked into it, so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I don't mean to sound offensive. I know some people just don't know, and that's, that's what's going on with that. So, um, yeah. I got my chocolate stuff. Let's try it. Grande iced Americano quad extra ice mocha. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Not bad. Not chocolatey enough. <laughs> I want like two pounds of chocolate fudge on that, please. <laughs> oh well. It'll do. It's pretty good. Hey guys, so I'm going to a berry farm gonna see what they have in the store like fresh berries and stuff so I'm gonna stick on my teeth again <laughs> Ears! it's so hot out today oh my god <laughs> my mom says that this was a family tradition to come to this farm for 30 years or so are you me and we used to play on the <laughs> jungle gym thing. Huh? Yeah. And pick our own strawberries. Yeah. So I'll show you what we got we got when we got in. <laughs> kind of beezing. I got strawberry pie, fresh strawberry pie, because it looks so good and irresistible. <laughs> they make it there fresh, so I'm just gonna have one piece and then leave it there so I won't be tempted to eat more. Here's the pie. Fresh strawberry pie. All right, so this is the chicken breast. There's like a piece of bread under here stuck to it. I probably won't eat that. Um, coleslaw, 
This is their sauce. It's a chicken gravy and a big thing of mashed potatoes. So I'm actually going to eat half of those. I'm gonna give half, like put half away for and leave them here. And I'm also having a piece, maybe a uh, one ounce piece, like just a slice here. We don't have my food scale, but I just by doing this by habit, I'm gonna have like a one ounce piece of um, St. Albert's fresh, squeaky fresh, delicious cheese. <laughs> oh yeah. So I took the skin off. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna divide those in half. Not eating that bread and having the cheese here with water, of course. All right, so I'm done. Um, leaving that bread had, they were about up to there, maybe the first line you see on the cup. And then I had, I'm gonna leave the rest of this. My mom's gonna pick the meat off and bring it for a sandwich for work. And um, yeah, I, I feel good. I don't feel gross. I was really hungry. Probably waited a bit too long, but um, I find the trick with me, what, what really helps my stomach, and you're gonna say no brainer, slow down, don't eat too much. And that really helps, and I'm trying to be really conscious when I do that. So I keep thinking, maybe it's not only what I eat, it's how much of it I'm eating. So, but I'm definitely having a small piece of that pie, I gotta tell you, it's in the oven right now. Well, the pie fell apart, but it's still gonna taste delicious, I'm sure. Hey guys, I'm back home. So, I had a very nice day, and I'm cooking some dinner, even though I don't really feel like it. Well, I kind of do. Now, if I haven't told you about Good Food Canada, um, I'm gonna be having this haddock, haddock meal, but I'm gonna make it with some rice. I'm not gonna make it the same like they're saying here. Look how good that is, though. All right, look. <laughs> so my rice and the veggie broth with the vegetables and I have my fish, my haddock fish. Put a little bit of sriracha on it. Let's give it a taste and see how it is. Looks good. Hot. Mm hmm that is very good so I'm gonna eat watch something with Pete Pete do you want to say hi before I end my video <laughs> hi I just had a shower <laughs> hey guys just doing a little intro to this video you're about to see the video I titled how I am eating to, at least for today, but this kind of style of eating in order to help me prevent binge eating, especially binge eating throughout the day, at night before bed. Um, last night was a successful night, no binging. And the method I am starting to use right now is mostly just tracking my calories, uh, in my fitness pal, my fitness pal will be a tool. Most people who have some kind of successful weight loss do have tools that they use, whether it be weight loss surgery, um, calorie counting app, whatever the case may be. And I'm also going to make sure to eat enough food and balanced enough meals and not completely deprive myself. So it's kind of very new to me. So I just ask that you be patient with me and understanding in my journey. I am going to turn the comments back on, but if you are disrespectful in any way, I will just block and delete your comment right away. Today is just going to be a food diary type of day. So I'm just going to show you everything I eat today. All right, so all that's missing is a bit of sugar-free ketchup, my almond milk, and that's my breakfast. I've been adding cinnamon to a lot of things because it's supposed to help with blood sugar and it just adds extra flavor without adding any calories, any sugar, pepper too, black pepper, I love it. So it's about finding seasonings and making your food not boring, <laughs> you know, so anyway, so I had a good night, 
and I'm gonna have try to have it like complete meal so that I'm not hungry or missing anything. You know what I mean? So apparently, like on the bottle, it says milliliters. So like 30 milliliters is two tablespoons, which is the portion I'm having of this ranch. And so I guess one gram equals one milliliter in case you were wondering. So a little over, but that's how much I'm having for this snack I'm about to make. Hey guys, so here's what I'm having for a snack. Having about half of a bell pepper, some cucumber, pickles, measured out ranch, and baby bell, one baby bell cheese, that's all I have left. <laughs> and I don't measure the vegetables, I count them as a free food, um, I don't count them in the calories unless they're starchy, overly sweet like carrots or something like that. I, I mean, I'm not going to worry about the vegetables right now, so mostly just portioning the control, portioning, working on portion control on the things that are higher in calories. So yeah, this is my dinner. So this is a um, hundred and 50 grams of ham and I'll put the calories again up here. This is a cup of the vegetables and this is um, Three quarters of a cup of mashed potatoes with the broth and nothing else So I'm go also gonna put some yellow mustard on the ham, which is pretty much a free food video here um, I already plugged this all in in my fitness pal for my final meal later I'm going to have this leftover spaghetti and it's all measured out all plugged into my fitness pal I'm gonna have it with about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese which I have also plugged into my fitness pal now I am still under, I still have 500 calories to go. And again, to prevent binges, I really want to eat all of the calories that I'm allowed. I'm usually used to eating, oh my gosh, anywhere from like 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, depends on the day, it depends on the binge. But um, I want to eat, I wanna make sure I'm eating most of my calories and most of my macros so I'm actually going to um, I want something low fat so what I'll do is if I am still hungry after I eat this I will just have some um, blueberries I have some wild blueberries maybe I'll make a, like a sorbet out of it with some almond milk and just blend it and next time on my 400 pound life All right so I'm gonna try my hand at this again um, I know people will have their opinions about this, but I'm going to scan it in my fitness pal and just have a serving of chips every night because I really want to have a snack at night. I think that will help me even more with, um, the binges. I just have the one bag. Night. Um, I'm just going to say it. The chips are gone and that was a mistake. Guys, so I had a thousand calories left, and so I ordered pizza.